documentary ruined my relationship with my family. You know, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Well, no, my father and mother. Oh. They, they literally like, what do you? They oh. thought because they asked their priest. Oh, man. They asked my mother and father, I come from a Catholic family, and so they asked their priest, my son went to an ayahuasca ceremony, what does that mean? And the priest explained to them that there is a sect of Brazilian uh, Catholics that use ayahuasca during ceremony, and I don't know the name, but it's going to have to be put in and, yeah. and whatever. Uh, and they said, it's, but it, ultimately it is summoning Satan. Summoning oh, the devil. Wow. So my parents, clearly, they, clearly, clearly yeah. uh, here oh, I am. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so so that was, that. but my, it, it's caused a year and a half sort of uh, really intense. It sucks. <laughs> of course it sucks. It sucks. It's your parents, you know. Yeah. Uh, what are you laughing at, Stefan? Of course it sucks. It's your parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's your fucking parents are pissed at you, per- you know, yeah. per- in, in yeah. perpetuity. <laughs> okay. yeah, I, I guess, since okay, I'm four, my parents have been pissed at me. It's yeah. like, oh, fuck. Uh, this was really about healing mom and dad. No, it wasn't. It's about Satan. Yeah, not to be anti or non anti drug. At the end of the day, you come back to that what you are dealing with in this consensus reality in which we're all existing is awesome. Yeah. And it's fucking psychedelic enough. Never mind putting toad venom inside your system <laughs> to experience a different dimension of that. So yeah, yeah, yeah I, you do get to experience. It's sort of the, uh, it's sort of the, um, the psychological uh, analog to the quote from the Apollo astronaut who said, "We were all born in heaven, like looking down on Earth." So like, Amen. you go yeah. away and then you you say like, "Holy fucking that science!" Thing, that that's, thing's the thing. That's I when I want to say, "Holy fucking Amen!" Pale yeah. blue dot. Yeah. Right. Call Sagan. Holy fucking science. Holy fucking science. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Well, Call Sagan, pale blue Carl dot. Call Sagan. Okay. Pale what did blue you think dot. He said? I thought he said hail Satan. Hail Satan. Hail blue dot. Hail Satan. Hail You let me on the show. Hail <laughs> <laughs> Satan, pale blue dot. I said Carl oh, Sagan. Hail no, I, I got Satan. You. That's gotcha. a great point, Hank. Hail oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Satan. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Wait, did you ever realize that how much Hail Satan sounds like Carl Sagan? <laughs> well, maybe. Holy, wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, holy fucking science. Science. <laughs> Holy linguistics. Oh my God. There are lots of animals that produce hallucinogenic substances. Yes. There are some animals that sometimes will give you a hallucinogenic experience. And sometimes will not. Which is a problem if you are eating fish in the south of France because there is a fish. Uh, called Sarpa Salpa, and in Arabic, that means the fish that makes dreams. Oh, God. And I don't want to ever come across that fish. Sometimes this fish is just a fish, yeah. and it's just delicious, but sometimes this fish will give you 36-hour-long hallucinations of people screaming at you. Oh, my God. And uh, reports are, it's really unpleasant, <laughs> though there aren't that many reports, because it doesn't happen that often. And it's not really a fish that you necessarily want to eat. It's not like a huge fish. Yeah. It's not like a big, flaky, delicious sea bass or salmon or something. It's Ooh, like kind of a little, yeah. little sea brim. Sometimes when people eat them, yeah. um, specifically when they eat their heads, so don't do that, mm-hmm. you get these crazy, crazy hallucinations. And they're like, why is it sometimes and not all the time? And they think, and they're not sure, because again, researching hallucinogens is not a great way to make a living as a scientist, that it is the thing that the fish are eating. So there are these algae, possibly it's the seaweed itself, possibly it's algae on the surface of the seaweed that they're eating that has uh, potentially a number of different toxins, one of them being culperin, which I looked up the chemical structure of, and it's gorgeous. I'm a chemist once upon a time, and I'm like, that is a cool compound. But it looks a lot like... Uh, a lot like DMT, a lot like gotcha. a lot of these things. Like it just looks very similar. But to the a lot screaming. Of this. But the screaming is very interesting. Yeah, but the screaming. That but like the so. There's this. There was a 90 year old guy who caught one of these things, and if you eat it raw, it's worse. Hmm. So some people just eat raw fish, but yeah. but cooked, it can still be bad. This 90 year old guy did it. He didn't tell anybody about it because he thought he was going crazy and he didn't want anybody to know. Um, Oh and he had like he several nights of really intense, like terrible, like he couldn't sleep, but he thought he was sleeping and he like, he wasn't sure. Yeah. Like this is not good situations. But it turns out that there's a lot of different fish that have toxins that produce hallucinations. So many that there's a name for it. Um, it's called ichthyoalienotoxism, which is basically the state of getting, getting totally wasted on a fish. Getting fucked up on a fish. Yeah. There are lots of other hallucinogenic fish. My favorite that I found was the yellow striped goat fish, 
which Native Hawaiians call a different name, the Chief of the Ghosts. Oh, no. The chief of the Ghosts. This is not... Oh, hail Satan. Hail Satan. That's another yeah. Hail <laughs> Satan. <laughs> Carl Sagan. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this snippet of Holy Fucking Science. If you would like more, you can see the full episode at youtube.com slash holy fucking science. That's right. Holy Fucking Science is a podcast about science that is not for children. It contains mild violence, swearing, alcohol consumption, and sometimes the science isn't super vetted, so don't share it in the classroom. For more Holy Fucking Science, we are on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google. Google Play Music, also other places where you might be able to find podcasts. Thank you for watching.